All new tonight, a coronavirus scare at Detroit Metro Airport. We're learning a passenger who arrived on a flight this morning is now being tested after they reportedly fell ill. Our Emma Henderson is at Detroit Metro tonight where that passenger failed the medical screening exam. Emma, what else do we know at this hour? Well, right now we do know that that passenger failed a medical screening exam. Those exams put in place because of the coronavirus outbreak. So the case is now being investigated by the CDC. Now the Detroit Metropolitan Airport is just one of 11 in the United States that is still accepting flights from China. We know the passenger was taken by the Wayne County Airport Authority's fire department to a local hospital to undergo further testing. The airport is not confirming any flight details at this time. Now I spoke to a couple travelers today about whether or not they're doing anything out of concern over the virus, and here's what they had to say. From what I've read, the virus, if you're in reasonable health, isn't really that big of an issue, so we're all in reasonable health. We're going to go, taking no precautions, and just happy to be getting out of the cold weather. If you're a jazz musician, I think you're immune to it uh, because it just you, you're, so, you're so many places all the time. So. Do you feel like you catch so many bugs? You deal with so many bugs in the, in the airports? You're dealing with little bugs and viruses all the time. So I guess your body builds up some kind of immunity. The additional testing due to the coronavirus just began this Sunday. Now, this is a developing story. We'll make sure to keep you updated with the latest. Reporting in Romulus, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11 on Fox 36. The weekend, the federal government designated Detroit Metro and 10 other U.S. airports with advanced screening procedures for the coronavirus for those flights arriving from China. Here's how those screenings look for passengers. Someone will take their temperature. They'll answer a questionnaire on how they feel. They'll then to be told to go home and self-quarantine. The state health department will then follow up.